or what do you think Musk is going to do with X now? Sure. Uh, man, Elon is fascinating. Uh, <laughs> he's so polarizing as well. And there's obviously a political layer to him. There's a pop culture layer to him. There's so many layers, right? But all of that aside, I understand his vision. I don't know if Twitter is the tool. Maybe it is because it, you know, its user base is very much on mobile phones and the short, quick you know, uh, ability to send content is, is there. Um, and then I interviewed the CEO eToro and they formed a partnership with eToro to integrate stock and crypto data. So I see his vision, how long it will take to get there. And it will, he hit a lot of roadblocks. I think so. Cause it, so far it hasn't been going that great. Um, but I've seen people doubt Elon and say, man, you suck. And this has happened. They doubted him with Tesla, they doubted him with SpaceX and much more. And he was able to push through and create some great products and great things, right? Do amazing things. So I think he'll eventually get there, but it's going to be a slow process. He's going to get a lot of criticism and he understands crypto. He understands tech. Um, he seems to understand social media as well to a certain degree. Well, let's see, you know, there's no guarantees. Well, he got me to pay $8 a month <laughs> for X. So finally, finally broke into the wallet and cranked that out. So we'll see what, see what that does for us. But yeah, I mean, he definitely is smart. He knows what he's doing. And, and I'm sure, I mean, I didn't even know, cause I just wasn't even paying attention back in the day to this. I didn't even know he had turned his X.com into what was it? PayPal. PayPal. I think it was the, yeah, yeah I, I had no he idea. So it seems it. like he's trying to recreate and do that again, which I think is kind of, you know, it's interesting. And I think a lot of people are going to be waiting and watching to see what he does. Yeah. And, and to your great point, like he understands payments. I mean, that's his, part of his pedigree, right? Which is yep. incredible when you think about it. A lot of people don't associate him with PayPal and they're like, oh yeah, he's one of the founders of PayPal. They usually think about Peter Thiel and these guys. Yep. Uh, but Elon's been there, man. Is the guy, I mean, some of the largest companies, right? Yeah. yeah. At this point too, it. he could just, just throw it out there and then something's going to stick. You know, you got mm -hmm. a lot of businesses that are profitable. You just watched a clip from episode 69 of The Next Block. If you enjoyed this clip, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. To catch the entire episode, check out the video description down below for a link to that live episode, as well as links to our sponsors and our Algorand donation wallet. This donation wallet can accept all sorts of Algorand standard assets and is a great way to support the channel. Also, let us know down in the comments below what you think. We'd love to hear your thoughts and who you think we should have on the podcast next. We appreciate everyone that watches to the end of these videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.